Is worship just fasting and praying, or is it something else? It is narrated that one of the companions of Imam al-Sadiq just returned from Hajj. He was telling them of his adventure, what he did in Hajj, who he met, until he said, I met this very pious man, and we were together in Hajj, and we were traveling back and forth from the manasik, from the different actions and obligations that we do in Hajj. And he was so pious, and he would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much, that every time we took a break from our travels, he would find a corner somewhere and pray until we were ready to go and he would embark on his camel or his horse and go with us. So Imam al-Sadiq asks this man, he says, when you guys stopped and this man went to the corner and started to pray, who fed his animal? Who watered his animal? Who took care of the necessities of a traveler when they are traveling as he prayed? So the man said, we did, O son of Rasulullah, and so Imam al-Sadiq looks at them and he says, then you are better than him. Brothers and sisters, helping your fellow mu'mineen, helping your fellow believers, being there for your brothers, for your sisters, serving the community is an act of worship within itself. Being served by others while we sit in the corner, read Quran or sit in the corner and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night 24 seven, does not make us better than anyone else. Rather, the true servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that is in the service of the community itself. And Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam was trying to make that very, very clear. It's not about how much you pray. It's not about how much you worship. It's not about the size of the rosary that you have in your hand. It's about how you treat others, how you treat your community, and whether you serve the people or you wait for people to serve you.